Wait, why are we going to find Keith? I thought we were going to go find what's her face that want me to find her perugly. But huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I got a point to write the exact thing there. <laughs> Thanks for finding perugly. I've never thought to look in the cage. Apparently, it chased Magnemite out so it could take a nap in there. I see. So then, where's Magnemite? I think it may have run off. It wasn't in the dressing room, at least. It ran off? Oh man, that's not good. We need to find it. I'll help look. Of course I will. Thanks. Can you go let Hero know about this? He should be in the sub-control room. I'll join you as soon as I take Perugly to Olga. Got it. We'll let him know. <sighs> Alright, let's head to the sub-control room. We need to let Hero know about Magnemite. I swear, this is just like on the island where it's like we came here just to have like a short two minute chat with this one guy, but we have to do this whole other investigation first. Here, you know, we came here to watch a video. I have to do all of whatever this is first. What? Magnemite escaped? I think it's somewhere in the studio. I don't explain all the static and the footage we received. We need to split up and search the studio then. I think you could help us, Tim. Of course. Let's go, Pikachu. Just one moment. The studio is a big place. Without a plan, we could be searching all day. What do you want to do then? Let's get the Yanma to help us. If the camera gets close to Magnemite, it'll start showing interference on the screen. Oh, I see. You think we could use the Yanma cameras, Hero? It might help us find where Magnemite is hiding. Of course. I'll leave it to you, Tim. Thank you very much. Can you hear me, Yanma? I want you to film around the studio as I tell you to. Alright, there's our footage. The area with most interferences. Backstage. Come on, let's go say hi to Magnemite. I really oh, hope Magnemite. that this there leads to something are. where we uncover yeah, some sort like... of bad guy in the studio. I might handle with care. Tim, come here. I found it. But I didn't have to actually search. There it is, just as we suspected. Yep. They can finally start filming now. Why are you causing everyone so much trouble? What kind of sound? That should be well, Magnemite's voice actor there. in this game. Did steal your place after all? It probably takes after Sounded that like someone open. drowning. What an obnoxious duo. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just recorded some kid you drowning. The tour of the studio, right? Oh man, the tour of the studio is over. Wow. Sounds like an unpaid internship, more like. Since you found Magnemite, all the cameras should work just fine. What? It won't cause any interference now that I found it? Let's go to the studio. Yeah, don't want to miss Karina's big moment. You should head back to the dressing room, Magnemite. Okay. A nuisance of a Pokemon case was closed and the rehearsal began. But yeah. Hello, hello, Esper's eyes. Well, this is still a pretty legendary voice actor, too. He's done a lot of different voice work, and I quite like him. Yeah, I certainly will never complain about Ryan Reynolds doing different roles, and she's still bugged out. Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Maximum Music. As always, I'm your host, Max, and Max. That's not right. This is Chatot. So, today we have... <laughs> we'll introduce the guests tonight, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm Olga Ellison, and this is... She looks like some evil spirit My that you'd God, fight in a JRPG. Yeah. <laughs> show she has no mouth. Again. Wonderful work, for ugly dear. Wait, what happened? Well, shall we get the show going? So, I was distracted by her being bugged out. A very special guest. A violinist you all know and love. Here she comes now. <laughs> Miss Karina Mitchell. What are you doing? Is this harder? <laughs> as hard as I can. Is this filmed in front of a live studio audience? Good evening. Doesn't seem like there's anyone back there. And cut. <laughs> so sad. So there's no Karina, dilla, uh, whoop. Smile a little more. Why did there have to Don't be an audience that, sound okay? here? He's right. Why they just you know, edited in later? Got to be more confident, Presumably. Otherwise, nobody will care. <laughs> now, now. Uh, she obviously doesn't get it. It's her modesty and humility that add to Karina's charm. It seems like a lot of work to be on TV. Yeah, might well be. So what else do I have to do? <laughs> yeah, maybe she is. Yes. You're amazing, Karina. Oh, Tim, I'm sorry. I feel so embarrassed. Please, don't be. Just do the same thing next time. Thank you. 
about Karina's appearance on stage. How am I supposed to smile naturally? I hope I don't mess up on the real shoot. Oh, that that's why there was the sound of the thing or Bob to like emulate the real thing for the rehearsal here. Because it was a rehearsal, not the real thing. I get it now. I'm sure you'll loosen up as you do rehearsals. Yeah, I want to see Karina's natural expressions. No, I want to talk with Cricket Toon. Cricket. Yeah, I thought it was all work and no play. It seems like he knows how to cut loose. What? All he did was move forward. True musician entertains his audience no matter what. Well, you certainly talk big. The rehearsal. This is the first time you've been surrounded by so many cameras. Yeah, I imagine it's pretty different from performing on stage. So what do I do now? So I'm controlling him. Do you read me? Could you do a check on the last bit? You got it. Why do I get to see my video? Hi, hero. Oh, hey there, Tim. Sorry, but do you think you could wait until later? I've got my hands full with these checks. I almost read that as these cheeks. Oh, of course. Being a director seems like a lot of work. Maybe we should go talk to the other cast members of the show for now. <sighs> Finally, the rehearsal started. I'm glad Max seems like his usual self, too. Was something wrong with Max? About Max. I don't know why, but he seemed a bit down over the past few days. He's getting worried. I think something was bothering him. Could be. But he was back to his usual self today, so maybe it worked itself out, or maybe he just acted despite the fact that his life is a mess outside of the camera. <laughs> Hi. Who is this supposed to be chatting to? Oh, I guess both of them. Okay. Hey, nice job out there, Olga. You still got that rapier wit of yours. Hold on. What do you mean by that? Are you saying that I'm not nice? What? No, I just... <laughs> Maybe you should start taking your job more seriously yourself. Come on, Prugly, dear. Oh man, she's got a temper. Get out of my way. Huh? It's Olga's voice. These voice impressions are really amazing. It has the same tempo on everything. Right? There's no secret or trick or I've got it. Huh? Got it. What? Chad on is responding to Max's signals. Tim, try stomping your foot down. Like this? Get out of my way. That's what I thought. You know us, Max set down his foot earlier too, right? So I'm gonna have to use this as like an important piece of information for something later? That was his cue to have chat on mimic Olga. Oh, I get it. He'd send signals like that to chat on and have it mimic the voices he wanted. Well, I guess I'm found out. You're pretty good. Are there other signals you use? Well, yeah, but I'm not going to give them all away. Where's the fun in that? I think I'll head back to my dressing room for now. Or just now, there was no four. I think next rehearsal is about to start. Let's go ask Hero. So back to the control room, chat out signal. So I'm going to need to use that later for something. This bug model reminds me of a character in the second nonary games whose models bugged out to always be smiling. I don't even know what the nonary games are. Where are you going, Tim? We're in the middle of rehearsal. Wait, I thought, wait, where's Mr. Dudo then? Oh. Are oh, the checks coming along? Some control? They're done, no problems. Great, let's move on to the next rehearsal then. Are you ready, Tim? Sure. Great, let's get Hoot Hoot ready for the signal. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay. I guess Cricket Tune just big chills. I'd honestly love to learn how to play the violin one day. I don't know if I'll ever have the time. very sensitive so he can stop now hey Tim do you think you could get your Pikachu to be a little more quiet <laughs> see 
And cut! That was wonderful! Oh, you were amazing, Karina! Thank you. <laughs> Your music is so beautiful. <laughs> it really was. Backstage, she's humble and modest, but when she performs, she's proud and confident. That duality makes me breathless. Not the performance? Hear me now! I declare that one day she and I will perform on stage together. I can't believe this. What's next? <laughs> well, that was certainly something there. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, first that I've heard of it there. That was beautiful, Karina. Thank you very much. Let's do the same thing for the real deal. All right, it's about time we should call on Olga and Max. Oh, I can let them know we're ready. Great, thanks. What should I do in the meantime? Oh, right. Do you go put your violin backstage for now? So something's gonna happen to the violin? Of course. Something's gonna happen. Okay. It was a long gap. I was like, am I supposed to be moving? What's happening? So, now what? Ah. It's a great performance. Can't wait to see the reactions we get from our viewers. The freest performance. To be honest, I was worried at first. I guess I didn't need to be. No wonder she's a rising star among violinists. She definitely lives up to her reputation. Alright, doesn't she? <laughs> Why are you acting so full of yourself? Here's rehearsal. How's the next scene you're going to rehearse? Oh, it's just a scene where the assistant Pokemon gives Karina her violin. Keith went off to fetch the Pokemon, but he hasn't come back yet. The violin's gonna go missing. Where Keith has gone to. And are we just gonna uncover the person that steals the violin? Could be that he was cornered by Olga again. Hero. Oh, I thought it was another full-on cutscene there. Oh, hey, Karina. Did you put your violin back there? Yes. Thanks. Now once Keith gets back, let's start our next rehearsal. Hero, this is bad. Oh, now it's a full thing. The assistant Pokemon won't make it? Uh, what are you saying, Keith? So Pikachu uh, has to do it. So sorry. I mixed up the dates of our schedule. Oh, my head hurts. I need a Pokemon. Any Pokemon to help us out. <laughs> hey, I know. Tim, do you think Pikachu could fill in for the day? Oh, huh? My Pikachu? Mm-hmm. He seems to enjoy music. I think he'd be great. <gasps> <laughs> All right, if you really think he could help, I can. You're really saving my life. <laughs> Thank you. The my two voice Thank actor you. is so okay. good. I'll need Pikachu to push the cart with the violin. Right over there, to that spot with the mark on it. That's right. Also, and Tim, I'll would you speak mind up in a sec. Over there for me? Sure. That's where Karina will receive her violin. You're a big help. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start rehearsal. Yanma, move those cameras exactly as you would for a real shoot. Yan Yan, Yan Yan. Pikachu, you ready? I've never been more ready. I've got this. Here's the spot. So she picks it up here. Kind of missed. Yan Yan. Watch out! <laughs> Oh, okay, it doesn't get stolen. Tim! Oh, no! Yeah, I'm okay. But look! <gasps> My precious violin! This is bad. Last. I was standing right there, and I couldn't do anything. The thing that I was about to say during that last scene, when I brought up the voice acting and how good <laughs> the Pikachu voice actor is here, I don't know how it took me this long to realize this, but how do mainline Pokemon games still have no voice acting when this random spinoff like Detective Pikachu gets voice acting and a movie made of it too, for some reason? You know, like how, what? Oh no, uh, I'm so sorry. The Anma have never made a mistake like this before. I need to stop shooting for now. Keith, take Karina back to her dressing room. 
Yeah, I mean, maybe. <laughs> of course. Come with me, Miss Mitchell. This way. Like, you'd think the mainline games would be, like, the much higher budget, much higher production things that, you know, obviously sell so, so, so much more units and would therefore be more important to put, like, more resources into, like, voice acting. But nope, it won't get it. But this weird spin-off, Detective Pikachu, an investigative game alongside a Pikachu, which is... You know, there are definitely some things I really like about the game, but just on, like, face value, just saying, oh, yeah, a spin-off game where you investigate with a Pikachu sidekick. You know, at face value, it seems kind of odd. And that, the game where you investigate with a Pikachu sidekick, is the one that gets full voice acting. Well, not full voice acting, but voice acting and a movie. It's like, what? Did they just really, really fall in love with this side project here like the Pokemon company or something <laughs> and just continue to pump out their mainline games as fast as it'll go I I don't get it you know yeah and yeah they could well just even use like the anime voice actors there like I'm sure that you know if I was voice acting in an anime and they were like hey would you like to get the job of voice acting in you know the mainline Pokemon games too I'd be like heck yeah so I don't, I'm sure I can't speak for everyone there but you know who would turn down that offer? I'll take the piece of the violin. Right. Here, let me help pick them up. I could have gotten into the Yanma. They've never messed up their instructions like that before. What are they saying, Pikachu? They say it's not their fault. Huh? What do they mean? We should talk to them a bit. Let's get the violin situation. Yeah, not really the main line. No voice acting or main line doesn't have voice acting yet. Insists on making scenes that look jarring without voice acting. <laughs> yeah. They'll continue to... Every uh, every next generation, ever since Gen 8 onward, they're always going to have to have a character that sings. They're going to have to have, like, more, like, full dedicated cutscenes with, like, the full-on animations, not just, like, the animation presets <laughs> where the mouths are moving and you just read the subtitles at the bottom. <laughs> It's so weird. Everyone thinks the Yon yeah. made a mistake and caused the accident. Detective but Pikachu is, really is voice true? acted, but not the mainline. Let's games. go see what the Yanma have to say. How is this a thing that I never realized before this point? Be like, huh? That's pretty screwed up, isn't it? Okay. Where are you? What is my depth perception? Hey, hey, are you hurt? That was a pretty heavy collision. If you're still feeling dizzy, just take it easy. I told us earlier there was no way you'd mess up your instructions, right? It says they followed their instructions to the word. It says if we look properly, we should be able to prove it. Let's ask the other Yanma to see what it thinks, too. Yeah, yeah. Looks like you had your own ideas about that accident. Care to have a chat about them? They say they moved exactly as the staff told them to. Really? Maybe there was a mistake in the instructions themselves, then. Someone gave faulty instructions. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, we're fine. Good to hear. Seems like the Yanma are unhurt too, so that's a relief. For the accident. The Yanma were behaving a little strangely. What do you mean? Back to when the accident happened. The Yanma flew out from the left and right at the same time, right? Of course they were going to crash like that. Nobody on our staff would give instructions like that. If the Yanma misheard. Glad the Yanma are safe, but what do we do now? It seems like he's taking this hard. <laughs> Excuse me, is it alright if we ask you about the accident a bit? What caused the accident? How should I know? Yanma and I just followed the cue sheet Hero gave us. What the cue sheet? This is the cue sheet. It's every detail of how the Yanma are supposed to move. <laughs> you know, I know that it's simplified here so that you can actually, you know, use it to put pieces together and stuff like that and have it kind of make sense. But, you know, you have instructions like this in a 3D space and you're not going to be able to use this in a meaningful way to tell you exactly what you need to do. Let's see. Plan for camera one was shoot from above, shoot from the left, shoot from the right, and move in. That's right. Keith should have the movement plan for camera two. Be happy to show him if you ask him. So, they go in such a way that they run into each other. Hey, Tim. <laughs> hey, Tim. I think we've got what we can from the Yanma. Hero seems to think that the accident happened because the Yanma messed up. The Yanma said they followed their instructions. Yeah. Try and find out what really caused the accident. 
Talk to the staff members next. Yeah, I've already been doing that. No! Oh man, what to do? Sounds like he's not doing too well. But yeah, yeah, hope we can find help out in some way. So you're going to say before your brief game free grant? Don't know if you brought this up before, but Pokemon Ash and Frost is a fan game you're interested in, kind of like this mixed with mainline Pokemon gameplay. I might be if I actually had time. As is, I have my serious doubts that I'm even going to be able to get through like all the new releases that I want to cover through the rest of this year. I already haven't been able to. Two days ago, Armored Core released, and that was one that was on my maybe list if I had enough time, and I don't. <laughs> you know. You're alright, hero. Not really, but still, I've got to do something. Why do you think the accident happened? Let's see. I can think of a few reasons, like the Anima misunderstanding the instructions or Hoot Hoot's signal being delayed. But Hoot Hoot Signal. Anima rely on Hoot Hoot Signal to start filming. It could be that the connection with the sub-control room got disrupted by Magnemite. Come to think of it, you were talking to the sub-control room during the rehearsal too, weren't you? I didn't notice anything strange though. I can check with Hoot Hoot if you want some clarification. I thought you had the second Wasn't I told to talk with you and get the other set of instructions? Is it someone else? Are you okay, Tim? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry to have worried you. I know it says yes and it did on the last one as well, but... You know, with Tim's voice, I just imagine, like, yeah, it just feels a lot more natural for what I imagined, like, him saying. You know, I'm glad you're safe. It looks like Pikachu wasn't hurt either. Yep, not even a scratch. I don't know why the accident happened, but I think it's going to be hard to keep filming. I wonder what Hero will do. I, t I don't know. Today's turned into such a mess. I don't know what to do. You gotta be cursed or something, Tim. What? Why me? Actually, I didn't see the accident itself. I was looking at the script when it happened. The script? That's the plan for how the show should progress. Do you want to see? Yeah. I made the script, see? It's written to follow the flow of the show itself. You're right, it is. You think this is related to the accident? Could be. It doesn't have much on the Yanma cameras, though. It doesn't have much on the Yanma cameras on it, though. That should have just said it doesn't have the Yanma cameras on it, though, right? So it should have said? I don't know. Well, I got that. Ugh. Hey, Tim. What? Tim. Just we talked to just about everyone here. Maybe we should check outside the studio. Gathering testimony. Well, just in case, I'll... How about the staff in charge of the Yanma's cameras? Wait, do you still Yanma how to move? Okay. So I should go to the control room over here, right? That's what I should do. All right, see you later, jerks. I've got places to be. Hi. What's up? Hey, Keith. How's Karina doing? She's very upset. She said she needed to be alone for a while. Wait, yeah, that's the dressing room there. Or the rehearsal room, or whatever the room is called there. So what was the way to the control room again? I could have sworn it was this way, but now it's like, wait a second, no, it's not. I don't blame her. She was clearly very attached to that violin. It was destroyed right in front of her. I'd be pretty upset if my guitar was destroyed. Do you have any idea why an accident like that could have happened, Keith? Well, I guess I could have misread the cue sheet for the Yanma. The cue sheet? Do you think we could see the cue sheet? Sure, here it is. I thought we were supposed to talk to Hero for the other one, but Keith had it? Did I misread, or did the game put in the wrong name, or? Let's see, camera two was supposed to shoot from above, shoot from the right, move away, and follow. Yeah, director gives us those in charge that gives those of us in charge of the Yanma cameras the cue sheet a few days before the day of the shoot. I tell the Yanma how to move the cameras based off of that, but also Guzma now getting the resub. I don't. Or is Guzma even still on the stream? Why does Guzma keep getting like the bugged out thing where Bob's? Oh, there we go. No, I happened earlier. I appreciate the 32 month resub there, Guzma. Yeah, that uh, wacky. But I appreciate it. Welcome back to Team Enharmonic. Enjoy another month of the emotes and the sub badge and all that fun stuff there. <laughs> yeah, I, subbing is weird for you, I guess. I've double checked it and I'm positive I got the instructions right. Is there any chance the director gave you the wrong instructions? Nothing like that's ever happened before. The original cue sheet should be at the sub control room. So I suppose you could go, could go check that. Sub control room. Because yeah. My brain told me that it was through this way, but it's clearly not. So I have false memories and I don't know how to get there anymore. Hey, don't sound so sad. You're making me want to cry. 
But yeah. It's nice, nice. I hope you have a good drive home. It's saying that if I if it had noticed the trouble with the Yanma sooner, Karina would have lost her violin. And this is another one where they're referring to Pokemon as it. And other times they refer to Pokemon as they. It's weird. Like, just just pick one and then stay consistent. Um, it's not your fault the violin got destroyed, Cricketune. Don't be so hard on yourself. But yeah, what we've missed since we, since we last left it. So we went to Fine Park because that was one of the places that Tim's dad, Harry, was investigating. And we heard about an accident that happened there where a Charizard went on a rampage during a parade and Charizard was super caring. And then like some guys came and took Charizard away. And that's what we found out. And then Mewtwo was watching us leave and Mewtwo was like, huh, so Pikachu really has lost his memories, but he seems to be keeping the promise that we made. Um, and before we went to Fine Park, the uh, this movie studio or this TV dudos were like, oh yeah, we, have a, we actually have a video of that day of a Charizard going crazy. Um, we can show it to you, but we're really busy today. Come back tomorrow. So now it's tomorrow after Fine Park and I'm here to see a video, but I got to figure out the weird thing we're about going on here first to see this stupid video. It's just like when we were on the island and we had to do like that crazy investigation about the realtor <laughs> just to have like a two minute conversation with the guy at the end. I'm doing all this random stuff so I can see a video at the end of apparently a Charizard going crazy. It's Karina's violin. Sucks to say this, but I don't think anyone's going to be able to repair it. So that's what's happening. Are you all right, Karina? Yes. Sorry to make you worry. I still feel very mixed up, but I'll be okay. The accident. To be honest, I don't really care why the accident happened. Finding out won't bring back my violin anyway. Karina. Even if that's true, there's something strange about the accident. As detectives, it's our job to bring it to light. You're right, Pikachu. But yeah. Yeah. We're going around being an unpaid intern here at the movie studio or the TV studio, whatever the heck. <laughs> Doing every little thing for them to see what's probably going to end up being like a one minute clip at the end that'll further along the main plot. But yeah, he's here to do a thing, but third thing got in the way of second thing already in the way. Yeah, basically. Hey, hey there. What's going on? I guess if Mewtwo has a promise with Pikachu that basically confirms that it's a movie pretty much. Not quite. I do remember from, uh, wait, was... Was there a promise between, uh, between, you know, Mewtwo and Pikachu in the movie? Because the plot of the, uh, movie and the game is decently different. I remember from watching the cutscenes back when, <laughs> you know, kind of spoilers there, but this game never actually directly says. Anyone that's seen the movie knows that, you know, that's the case, that that was the fate of, you know, Tim's dad. And, you know, that was the movie explanation for why Tim could understand Pikachu. Um... In the game here, it's never said, but it's heavily implied. Like, uh, with, oh yeah, Pikachu never really liked coffee. That was always, uh, that was always Harry's thing. What's going on with that? And, you know, Tim being the only one that can understand him. So, okay, so there's a promise in the movie too. I guess it's been a hot second since I've seen the, uh, since I've seen the movie. But, yeah, um, the ending, it's mostly like the use of R and the ending are the big different things off the top of my head for memory between the game and the movie and the uh the game has a bit more of a cliffhanger end like the the game does not resolve things unlike the movie i was really worried before the movie came out like oh man is it gonna be a cliffhanger end too but no they they resolved it in the movie which you know i was pretty glad about um but the uh but the game had a cliffhanger end which was clearly leading into a sequel which is going to be detective pikachu like returns coming up here um so you know the uh the games will be a lot more like substance of a story overall i guess by being two games as opposed to one movie but uh yeah i am honestly going to be intrigued to see where detective pikachu returns goes story wise like i did think that the original game here story was intriguing <laughs> but maybe my memories are just lying to me because you know i can uh, i can feel it being a little bit of a slog like i i get it that they do need to pad out some actual gameplay so it's not the shortest thing ever but they could have had these investigations relate more to like overall narrative as opposed to just like here's some gameplay of solving this thing that's completely unrelated that you're gonna like forget like very soon after because it was completely unrelated you know but yeah let's see here uh become a mystery dungeon protagonist again because it's a mystery detective work is a mystery it kind of is just realize that you're laughing <laughs> but yeah so you know it's not something that's said in the game here but it's heavily implied Hey there, what's going on? You're wondering if we could get your take on the accent just now. Oh yeah, 
Aaron told me you'd be coming by. Actually, I was in the dressing room the whole time, so I didn't see the accident. Sorry. Man, a mess like this, and right in front of President Graham, too. This show's done for. Max. You really care about the show, don't you? Of course I do. We've had some hiccups since Roger became the producer, too. Maybe it's time for me to move on. Hmm. But yeah. Yeah, then, uh, then yeah. I would be complete. Hey, Chad, I think we could talk about the accident that just happened. The accident. You were in the dressing room the whole time, so you don't really know, huh? Something else for Chad, uh? Hey, could you show us your cool mimicking skills again? Oh, you can? Try different signals, see what happens, eh? Tim, give it a shot. Up, snap fingers. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, that's the voice of Mr. Graham. I wish I could whistle, but I can't. <laughs> oh, there is also cut. there is also the amnesia. Oh, that must be Hero. What's with the self-contented contented look? And act all cool, are you? Hey, go easy on me. I tried my best. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past Max to do that. Probably more cues than we um, we can imagine. Just call her. It's not doing anything. I guess that's too subtle to use as a cue. Uh, there's a stomp foot. Get out of my way! Wow, oh, that's definitely old gall, right? If someone yelled at me like that, I'd definitely have a heart attack, even if it was a prank. Okay. Oh, because I was just backing up from the uh the cues and stuff. I gotcha. 